The goal of this quick demo is to show you the common problems associated with spreadsheets and then demonstrate how all of these issues are completely eliminated upon conversion to an ESA web application. This example features a simple, macro-enabled mortgage payment calculator with two sheets, basic information, and an amortization table and a couple of graphs. We need to be aware that some users may have problems opening and using it. Not only must they have MS Excel on their computer, the version must also be compatible in terms of settings, add-ins, and Excel release. Let's do a sample calculation. Say, a $250,000 loan, and let's pick a 30-year term from the dropdown. We now see the calculated payment and the graphs updating. Here I show you the next potential problem area. If I select the payment cell, I'm able to see the formula used. Thus, your potentially critical intellectual property can be exposed. Yes, Excel provides ways to hide and lock cells, but this is easily defeated. Next, let me illustrate the next problem area. If I overwrite this formula, the spreadsheet is now broken, so the integrity of your spreadsheet is not guaranteed. While obvious in this case, if for example I was to update a calculation deep inside this amortization table, such an error may be very hard to spot, and if I was to now forward this spreadsheet to someone else, I have propagated this error unbeknownst to the receiving party. So error propagation is another problem area here. Now, say I realize I sent this incorrect spreadsheet and fix it and resend it. This illustrates probably the most common complaint we hear. Poor version control. I sent the latest version, but I have no way of ensuring it replaced the faulty version and is now being used. Furthermore, people often end up with multiple copies of a spreadsheet, further confusing which one should be used. Okay, let's now take a look at an ESA web app version of the same spreadsheet and see how it takes care of every problem we just uncovered. First, we start with a web browser, in my case Chrome, but any web browser will work. Unlike before, I do not need MS Excel, just a browser and of course internet connectivity. I enter in a web address or URL, hit return, and we are now in the web app. One note here, I set this app up with no authentication so anyone can use it, but you can easily require a specific sign-in credential if desired. Since I don't use any local version of Excel, there is no potential of a mismatch and subsequent failure to run. Let's have a quick look at this web app. You will see it looks much like the spreadsheet, but not exactly. That is because I have elected to make some customization to this web app, which is actually just a user interface. For example, the spreadsheet had two graphs, but say I want to use this app on a cell phone with a very small screen. Navigating around the screen is not easy, so I customize the look and feel by putting the graphs under these tabs so I can just click on them. Also note that the second sheet of the spreadsheet is retained and now another button choice. So you can customize this web app user interface as much or as little as you wish. Not only that, but you can actually change what a person gets to see based on their sign-on credentials. Now let's do the same calculation we did before. Put in 250,000 and go to the pull-down and select 30. The pull-down is automatically inserted into the web app and works exactly as before. We now see the new payment calculated, but if I click on that payment, I no longer see any formula. And if I attempt to write over it, as you can hear me trying to do, it is impossible. So your intellectual property is completely protected, both from viewing and also changing like we did before in the spreadsheet. That is because this is a web app, sort of an image of the spreadsheet, but not the actual spreadsheet. Instead, this web app is driving the spreadsheet behind the scenes, completely protecting it from user editing, copying, or inspection. This also means that your macros in VBA also still work, and here I can use the reset button, which actually drives a macro on the spreadsheet. This ability is unique to ESA among Excel web enabling tools. Finally, a word about how your spreadsheets are saved. When you are done and leave this app, ESA does not save a spreadsheet, which is a type of flat file, but rather it saves only the key data, which is normally the input data, and if there are calculations, the outputs in these are automatically put into a relational database that comes with ESA. This vastly improves your ability to do searches, reports, and data analytics, since you can now slice and dice your data any way you want, and it is all there in one convenient central location. So in summary, spreadsheets are plagued with a variety of weaknesses, especially when you share or collaborate with them. By converting these into ESA web apps, you completely eliminate the shortcomings while still utilizing your native spreadsheets, including all of their functionality.